Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. It's Magic Review time. Pew, pew, pew. That's right. Magic Review time. That's what uh, we do on the channel, right? This is a Magic Review channel, so I review magic tricks. That only makes sense, right? <laughs> That only makes sense. Uh, hey, let's talk about Pop-Up Project. Pop-Up Project, new release uh, from your good friends down at Murphy's Magic. What is it? Uh, you're gonna come out with a single card, okay? And this is probably gonna work best on the social media. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw that out there right now, okay? Probably best as a social media trick. You got your card, okay? You can show it front and back. We'll use the back because it's a nice blank surface. And with a little wave, or a snap, or a flash, however, a little uh, sailboat animates. Uh, more like a pirate ship kind of sailboat, like an old-fashioned, old-timey sailboat, large sailboat, right? In white, so it's a white silhouette on the back of a blue card. And then, as you take the card and lay it flat, in an instant or a flash with just a moment of cover, a three-dimensional paper origami boat materializes. You can actually slide it off the card and hand it out to be examined. Let's talk about it. All right, so pop-up project, is it what I thought? Yes, it is what I thought, and it's what you think too. Uh, very popular way to do these animated flash appearances with cards. It's usually a very heavily gimmicked playing card, usually several card thicknesses thick, usually made from that wonderful material that we all love so much. Uh, it's a bird wing, right? It's a bird wing. That's my code for the type of card it is. Uh, animated. It's really like an animated card and a bird wing card got together and had a kid. And of course, you'll get the little 3D boat as well. You'll get two. Uh, you'll get one that does the appearance and then you'll have one that you can hand out for examination with a switch. Is it well made? Everything's well made. Um, and I certainly wouldn't have wanted to make this myself. That said, we all know this fun, special material breaks all the time. And so definitely take care of it. It'll last you through several performances, but eventually, of course, you'll have to repair it. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? The video is six minutes long. That's right, six minutes long. I'm, I'm now wondering if this review is gonna be longer <laughs> than the explanation video that you uh, pay $60 for. Um, it's mostly just your teacher seated at a table. Uh, there's no uh, bells and whistles to it. It's pretty much just a, you know, just a straightforward video. Uh, he's gonna cover as much as he can in six minutes. You're really gonna get an intro. He's gonna cover what you get. He'll even cover how to uh, repair it. And he'll cover uh, how to do the switch so that you can hand the boat out as a souvenir at the end. Pocket space, um, it's, it all stays contained within a single card. And he teaches you how to kind of lock it so that you can uh, travel with it. I probably wouldn't want to just because of the nature of that said material and the fact that you're keeping it in its tense or ready position for a long time. Like I said, I, my first bet would be to use this as social media. Oh, the angles on this, uh, the angles are angly right? As you would expect. You wouldn't want anyone from behind. And inspectability, absolutely not. You can't have anything inspected. The boat can be inspected, though, with a switch. And just the fact that it's a three-dimensional origami paper boat kind of makes it uh, delicate. It's going to be a... As you're getting rid of the card and switching in the boat, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a little something. Slice and difficulty level, this gimmick card does all the work for you. It does everything for you. It's, it's prepared to do the animation for you and then the flash production for you. So there's really nothing for you to do except, you know, your little, your controls that, you, that, you're, uh, that you're doing and then any sort of quick distractions. That'll help too. Set up and reset. Everything kind of like folds back in on itself, kind of like a pop-up book and you're set to go again. Positives, what are the positives? Pop-up project takes magic from 2D to 3D 
in a flash. Negatives, all right, so let's talk about the negatives. Uh, six minutes for a video is way too short, right? Way too short, especially when you're talking $60. 60 bucks, 60 bucks for uh, your retail. Video is so cheap. It's so easy to make video. It's so easy just to talk and fill camera time. Six minutes is just not enough, especially when you're not only teaching them how to do the trick, but then also how to repair the gimmick. Like I would expect just in a standard video, that entire six minutes would be how to repair it, <laughs> let alone how to do it. Oh, and then he also teaches you uh, a second bonus trick idea that he did for Instagram. So I forgot to mention that. So he teaches you the entire routine, then teaches you a bonus stand away version where the card's on a easel and he does the animation from an easel and then he teaches you the repair all in six minutes. So way too short. Part of that is he talks way too fast. He talks way too fast. He's giving you information at a, you know, a, a blinding pace. And so it's definitely something you'd have to watch again and again. The other negative is the trailer shows a picture of the boat and it says souvenir on the screen. And I kept waiting for this moment where he would talk about how you could make one of these boats yourself and hand it out as a souvenir, but that was never covered. So there are no souvenirs in this and you cannot give the boat away as a souvenir. If you go back and read the ad copy, it's a little bit more explanatory. It says, which can be given away to the spectators to examine. So probably means examinable, not souvenir. So there's no souvenir included in this. So, um, and it only does the boat, right? You're not learning how to do anything else. The card shows a boat animated and then a boat appears. So the trick is a boat. Is it worth your money? I think it's very expensive for this style of card. I think when you open the box, you're gonna be very underwhelmed as far as what you get for $60. And like I said, when half the video is a bonus trick where he shows you how he does the hands-off Insta Reel, I don't know. It just seems like the video is way too short. It, it could have been half an hour at least if he had gone a little slower and taken the time to walk you through step by step. There's no live performances, so you can't actually see how this would work in the real world. So I'm gonna say it's Instagram or social media trick only, which makes $60 a kind of high price tag. Uh, but if you're the kind of magician that can get, you know, a million views off of one uh, video, then 60 bucks is probably a good price. Uh, that's everything I can say about pop-up project. So I hope I've answered some questions for you or at least introduced you to something new. And if that's the case, you can always do me a favor, hit like, subscribe and follow, push all those buttons. That helps me out a lot. I think my video is eight minutes long. Eight minutes, we went to eight minutes, folks. <laughs> And big huge thanks to Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. Hey, stick around to the end of this video. I have a special announcement for you. See you later, bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right, I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place kid friendly where they can learn beginning level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like, subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.